Good day, Grade Three pupils. Welcome to our lesson for Mathematics Three, Quarter Two, Week Three, Day Four. Our topic for today is measuring and comparing capacity using liters and milliliters. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Activating prior knowledge. What is the standard unit for small amounts of liquids? That's right, it is milliliter. What is the standard unit for bigger amount of liquid? Correct, it is liter. How many milliliters are equal to 1 liter? That's right, it is 1000 ml or milliliter. How do we write 2800 ml in liters and milliliters? We write 2 liters and 800 milliliters or ml. For number 5, how do we write 10,000 ml in liters? Correct, it is 10 L or 10 liters. Lesson Purpose Intention To measure and compare the capacity of containers using standard units, liters and milliliters, using appropriate tools and to determine the appropriate unit of measure for measuring the capacity of containers. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will going to read the lesson language practice. Developing understanding of the key ideas then. Today, we will practice measuring the capacity of containers using different tools. We will see how milliliters and liters are related. Today's activity is measuring capacity and the tools we will use is measuring spoon, graduated cylinder, containers, and water. Okay, here is the example of measuring spoon. And here is the example of graduated cylinders. The graduated cylinder can hold much more water. How many 1 ml spoon do you think it takes to fill 1 liter? The expected answer is 1000 ml is equals to 1 liter. In group, use the 50 ml spoon to fill the 2 liter container. Count how many times you pour and write it in the table. So, it takes 40 times to fill the 2 liters or graduated cylinder. You poured 40 times each 50 ml, that's 2000 ml or 2 liters. See how we can express it. 2,000 ml is equals to 1 liter plus 1 liter equals to 2 liters. Now, measure the same container using the 1 liter graduated cylinder. How many times did you pour? The number of times used is 2. Both tools gave the same answer, 2 liters. Easier tool to use, 1 liter graduated seed. More appropriate unit for large containers is liters. We got the same result using spoon and a graduated cylinder. But which one was easier? Yes, the, lit the liter cylinder. That's why for bigger containers, we use liters as the unit. Always remember, we use liters for bigger containers and milliliters for smaller ones. One liter or L are used for larger capacities. One liter is equals to 1,000 ml.
the deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Now, let's measure a smaller container. Use the 50 ml spoon to find its capacity. Write the result in Table 3. Did we get all the same unit? If not, why yes? Because of errors like spilling water or not filling the spoon completely. So, the number of times used for a 50 ml spoon is 4. In order for us to fill the capacity of 200 ml. Watch carefully as I pour a 1 liter of water into the small container. What happened? Yes, water spilled. And why? Because the container is smaller than 1 liter. This container's capacity is less than 1 liter. So, it is best measured in milliliters. That's why we say its capacity is 200 ml. Another way is to reverse the process. Fill the container with water, then pour it into the graduated cylinder. Let's read together how many milliliters is this. So, this is a 200 ml water poured in a 1 liter graduated cylinder. Making generalization. Today, we learned that when measuring liquid, we use milliliters for smaller amounts and liters for bigger amounts. Always remember, 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliters. Evaluating learning. What is the appropriate unit to measure the capacity of each container? Write L for liters and ML for milliliters. Here are the expected answer. Great job today everyone! You listened well, shared your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to count, read, learn, and have fun. See you next time!